Welcome back, all you beautiful people and you Beaverworks Diecast Racing fans. We are back down here at the bottom of the main track so we can bring you the next big event going on here as Beaverworks Diecast Racing and the Igloo Proving Grounds is bringing you the next main line review. There they are, two brand new rip and rolls that came out in the episode prior to this one. Two 70s muscle cars, both going for a shot at our main line champ, Jimmy Pinkeye, in that Jaguar XL220. All right. Vehicles. Hot Wheels 1970 Pontiac Firebird. One in a five from the 2022 Dream Garage. This 1,000 horsepower specimen was built by some magician named Riley Stair, winner of the 2020 Hot Wheels Legends Tour. Hot Wheels 1970 Chevy Chevelle. Three out of five from the 2020 Duke Contoured series. What they have a draw for the names on these series is 16 versions since 2013. This is a super modified version of the classic muscle car. This week's special guest drivers, no stranger to the Igloo Proven Grounds. We have Alex from Goosebumps Racing in the Firebird. And now we got Grimes Hawk from Teams Hawk's Nest in the 1970 Chevy Chevelle. They are going up against the Igloo main track, folks. You've seen this before. It is multi-surface, multi-manufactured with a measured jump ramp in the middle there. Going down through the 3D pop maker corner on the bottom side and then out the finish line into our flatbed finish area. Rules, because you've always got to have rules. For the two car, best 2 out of 3 format is two points for the win, one point for crossing the finish line on your wheels, one point for the longest jump, and one point for a flatbed finish. Race one. All right, here we go. First race of the evening, and these guys are all lined up, ready to take this. We got Alex on the near lane. We've got Grimes Hawk on the far lane. They're going down neck and neck. This is a good, tight race already. We've got Alex Goosebump Racing is out front. Grimes Hawk is making a play at the end, and they both get over top of the line. Alex Goosebump Racing is going to get race number one in that Firebird. There's the Chevelle. Nice race there. There's the Fire Chicken right there. Alex Goosebump Racing love in that car. They're both even and well balanced and making that look great coming down through the corner there. Checking out the jump cam. What we get for some distance is 24 centimeters in the Firebird. 21 in the Chevelle. They're both shooting for distances on this run tonight, folks. Okay, easy replay. Let's check this out. They're coming out off the line. Firebird's creeping out just a little bit on the first stretch. Down into the corner. They both jockey and that's great. Firebird gets out in front. Chevelle is chasing over top of the ramp. They're both solid and stable cars. Great looking line through the 3D pop maker corner, and it's going to be Alex gets out there front. Grimes Hawk gives him a little bump at the end. Great looking race, awesome looking cars. Folks, there it is. Race number one, and it's going to be Alex Goosebumps racing in that Pontiac Firebird with a 9.55 time and 24 centimeters. Race, race two. two. All right, here we go. We got a lane switch going on. This time we've got Grimes Hawk on the inside line. Alex on the outside line going down. Here we go, chicken and out. This time we've still got Firebird. They're side by side all the way through the crack racers corner. Getting a little bit sideways. Alex, Alex loses it on the 3D bot maker corner. This one's Grimes Hawk all the way. And it's not even. Alex finally makes it over top of the line there. Still gets the point. Give Grimes Hawk a little bump there at the end. There it is. It's going to be one apiece so far already. There's the Firebird. And there is the show. Chevelle right there, Grimes Hawk, he gets it in the second race. There we go, beautiful one race apiece now. Excellent race over top of the line. These two drivers keeping it even all the way through the race. It was a good battle there. There's the distances, 15 centimeter for the Chevelle, kind of sideways, and Grimes Hawk coming through in the Firebird at 11 centimeters, even more sideways. Still looked awesome. Igloo replay, these two both wanted this race. They were fighting all the way. These cars are well matched, well evened up. They're ripping down the first stretch there. Firebird's getting a wee bit of advantage, but Grimes Hawk takes it back real quick and through the grass racers corner going over top of the jump there and look at that drift coming out of that Chevelle going all the way through the 3D pop maker corner right after Alex loses it after the jump and he, there it is Grimes Hawk in the Chevelle over top of the line race number two we are all tied up going into race number three that was a excellent little matchup right there and it's Grimes Hawk in the Chevelle race number two with a 10.66 time at 15 centimeters race, race three, three. 
All right, we are back to our original start positions. We've got Alex inside, Grimesock outside. There we go, Fire Chicken Chevelle, third race. It comes down to this one. We are one apiece already, and it's Fire Chicken out front. Firebird's got it. They're racing back. Grimesock's on top of them. They're going back and forth. It's just going to be the Fire Chicken by a car length. He just makes it an excellent race. They were all over each other all the way down that. That was great racing. There's the Chevelle, and there's the winner of the two out of three, Alex Goosebumps race in the 1970 Pontiac Firebird, a thousand horsepower monster. It's been featured on lots of shows. Winner of the 2020 Legends Tour. Jump cam, we've got the Firebird coming through, 15 centimeters, and there's the Chevelle kind of on the edge. We're calling it 23 centimeters because he was sailing right through there. He gets the distance on that one. Igloo replay, checking it out. The two of them, that time the Chevelle's pulling out just a little bit, getting the Firebird, but by the end, they're neck and neck, and then they both go through the corner. That's when we got Alex cuts back up into there. The Firebird gets a little squirrely. Chevelle tries to cut to the inside, moves on to the top rail. They both cut a sweet line through the 3D pop maker corner. Inside comes the Chevelle, and then he loses it. Alex is over top of the line, nice and straight, and just about plants it on the flatbed. That would have been great. 1970 Pontiac Firebird, 10.73 time. Alex Goosebumps racing, and they get the shot at Jimmy Pinkeye in that Jaguar XL220 coming up. All right, there you go. Hot Wheels Premium Alfa Romeo Stridesdale up there. Beautiful looking car. Beaverworks International, folks. Junkyard Joust. If you haven't seen this channel, link is going to be in the description. Run your cars down a great big hill and plow them into the pile. Rules survive. And they're doing a custom tournament. Beaverworks has got an entry and they are going to go for this. Make sure you get over to Junkyard Joust. Check it out. You will not be sorry, and same as always, you can help out the channel by setting your notification bell to all notifications, and you know it, smash that like button because the algorithm will like us more, and there is a new option down there for the creators called the Super Thanks option, and you can help out with the next Beaverworks rebuild. All right, Jaguar XL220, driven by Jimmy Pinkeye, going up against the Pontiac Firebird, Alex Goosebump Racing, Head-to-head -head time between the mainline champ and the winner tonight. Race, Race one. one. Jimmy Pinkeye in the Jaguar fire lane. Alex Goosebumps racing in the near lane. Firebird going up against the Jaguar. Here we go. This is the Hot Wheels Classic going up against the brand new casting. And Hot Wheels Classic's out in front. Jaguar's pulling a great big lead already. That's one of the perfect runs down the igloo. Going for a flatbed finish. Typical Jimmy Pinkeye style. Great looking stuff there. And uh, there is the Firebird. Alex there. There's Jimmy going for the flatbed. Great shot there. There's the Firebird. Alex Goosebumps racing right there. Jimmy Pinkeye in that unbelievable Jaguar up top there. Look at the lead he's got already. Perfect line through the 3D pop maker corner and just launches it at the end there. Going for that flatbed. Checking out the distances. 21 centimeters for the Jaguar. It's flying. Then we got Alex coming through 14 centimeters in the Firebird. Still great looking race between these two, but that old Hot Wheels classic, that Jaguar is just a beast. It's going to be hard to beat. It's set up. It's balanced. Right there, he's giving Alex a hard time down at the bottom of the rail. He's like, hey, this is what racing here at the Igloo is all about, folks. Big run. Perfect line right through the 3D bot maker corner. You can see Alex back there trying to catch up, but that Jaguar is fast. Look at that. And making a big flight for that top flatbed. Just misses it there. Jimmy Pinkeye in that Jaguar is going to take race number one with 11.38 time. Race two. All right, second race in this two out of three. We've got Alex on the far lane, Jaguar on the near lane. Here they go. This is the classic against the brand new casting again. And there it is. Jaguar's out, but he blows it around. He's looking straight back at Alex going up on the side, and then he over top of the line backwards. That was unreal. Right after the midsection there, he blew the car around. He went over top of the jump backwards. He was staring at Alex head to head, bumper to bumper, and he was the one that got over the line backwards, just flying. Look at that gorgeous shot of that Jaguar. There he is. Look at that. Down through the midsection in reverse, almost door handle to door handle, almost made a mistake, almost gave Alex the chance to get around, but he was able to pull it off backwards. 
18 centimeters is the jump distance for the Jaguar, 19 for the Firebird. Give the extra centimeter to the Firebird because he was looking where he was going. All right, checking it out on the Igloo replay. We got the first drop drag race and it's almost even. You can see the Jaguar is just pulling out by a smidgen of a bumper and then they go around that crash racer's corner. Jimmy Pink Eye blows it absolutely around 180s and right in front of Alex. Alex almost gets the opportunity to scooch you around on the inside, but Jimmy just punches it down the final stretch, pulls about three or four car lengths out in front, but before he even gets to the bottom of the hill, owned this race. There it is at Jaguar XJ220, 11.38 time. He is going to remain the mainline champion because that car is amazing. There it is. Look at that. Classic casting's been around for years and years and years. Looks great, performs great. What a great reputation. And the other drivers tonight, Alex Goosebumps racing in that gorgeous looking Firebird right there. And then we got Grimes Hawk right there from Hawk Racing inside of that Chevelle. Great looking stuff. All right, that's gonna do it for the night, folks. Great racing. Jimmy Pink Eye is going to remain the mainline champion in the Jaguar. All right. Thank you all for checking out this channel and our stuff. Make sure you check out the links in the description because we've got the Junkyard Joust tournament coming up. Beaverworks is in that. That's going to be great stuff. Special thanks to our drivers tonight and a great big Beaverworks shout out to all of you good folks for checking out our stuff. From Beaverworks Diecast Racing, we'll see you next time.